Hello and welcome to Linear Algebra 1 Math 1600A. My name is Dr. Avi Steiner, but you can call me Avi. In fact, I prefer that you call me Avi, very much so. Please call me Avi. This term, we're going to be covering some basic topics that you'll usually find in an introductory linear algebra course. We're going to be covering vectors, systems of linear equations, matrices, subspaces, and eigenvalues and eigenvectors. We're also going to spend some time covering some applications. Now, why would one study linear algebra? Well, linear algebra is found all over the sciences and applied sciences and industry. For instance, mechanics and robotics, you can use it to describe and study rigid body dynamics. It's very useful in computer graphics and computer vision to describe scene versus 2D representations. And basically all of quantum mechanics is linear algebra. You can use it to model complex systems such as the weather and there are tons more things. Now, if you have any questions about course content, please, please, please go and ask them on the forums. The reason that I'm having you use the forums is in order to ensure access to questions and answers related to the course to all of our students. Usually, if you have a question about course matter, other people in the course do too. This way in the forum, not only do I and the TAs have the ability to answer your questions, others can weigh in and answer some of your questions. Now, of course, if the class is still struggling after you've posted your question and trying to come up with an answer to it, then I or the TAs will come and respond to your question. Note that I and the TAs will be quicker to respond during our office hours, and you can find the office hours in the course information tab. This course has seven projects, one due at the end of each week. The projects listed here are Persistence and Problem Solving 1, 2, and 3, Solve and Critique 1, 2, and 3, and Linear Algebra in the Wild. The projects are meant to help you reflect upon how you and others think about math, to find tools to help you better work through math problems, and to help you better communicate math. Persistence and problem solving, one, two, and three, and linear algebra in the wild are reflections. Solve and critique, on the other hand, is a pair assessment activity. Linear algebra in the wild is the only term project. In other words, it is assigned now and due at the end of the term. Right now, only persistence and problem solving one and Linear Algebra in the Wild have been assigned. At any time, you can see which projects have been assigned by going to the Projects tab. Only those projects which are visible in that tab have been assigned. So this is an online course, likely different for many of you from what you're used to. So how are you gonna stay on track? First of all, make sure you look at the course calendar. It will definitely be updated weekly, but it's very possible to, that it will be updated more often. So you should check that probably every day. And check daily for any new announcements. Anytime I change anything on the course, it's very likely that I will announce it to you guys using the announcements feature on OWL. All right, so now what? first thing I need you guys to do is go to the syllabus tab and read the syllabus. That's more important than ever for an online course like this because I'm not in front of you to immediately answer your questions about how the course works. So read the syllabus and for the same reason go to the information tab and read everything there. There will also be some vi videos there that will help you 
use the tools of this website and the various tools that we'll be using to have you complete our assignments. And finally, once you finish those, go to week one under the course content tab and start working.